Fire crews are investigating an early morning garage fire that forced two Alloway families from their homes. The fire started in a duplex on the, or at a duplex rather, on the 800 block of Longview Street around 4 o'clock this morning. Luckily, everyone was able to get out safely, but there is serious damage. NBC 26's Megan Lowry is live in the newsroom tonight with the story. Stacey, I talked to one of the women living in the duplex, and while she was too distraught to go on camera, she told me that she's glad that she and her five kids weren't home at the time the fire broke out. A pile of charred debris now sits where a garage once stood on Longview Road. Green Bay Metro Fire Department Lieutenant Nick Craig says when firefighters arrived, seven people home at the time of the fire had gotten out of the house safely. But crews had to rescue two dogs still inside. Crews found the garage of w one duplex fully involved in fire. Uh, the wall between the garage and the duplex that was on fire actually held very well. Crews were able to contain the fire to the garage, but heavy smoke damaged the inside of both sides of the duplex. One of the residents of the home that had the garage on fire uh, told us that they tried to self extinguish the fire. They noticed it, tried to put it out. Open the garage door, which let a lot more oxygen in. Lieutenant Craig says that caused the fire to spread more quickly. Melissa Countenin, who lives on the other side of the duplex, wouldn't go on camera, but says she's glad she and her five kids weren't home at the time. She says most of their belongings have smoke damage, and they're getting help from the Red Cross. Now, the Red Cross is helping 13 people who are displaced by this fire. Lieutenant Craig says this is a good reminder to always have renter's insurance. Neither of these families did. In the Green Bay Newsroom, Megan Lowry, NBC 26. Thanks, Megan. Covering Wisconsin live at 